Hello, my beautiful Librans. How are you? It is B. Welcome to my channel, Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me. This reading is for Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and Libra Rising. Also, if you have Venus or Mars in Libra, you may want to listen to this reading as it relates to your love life. All right, guys, I am doing April and March readings together this time because I will be gone at the end of March. All right, they are going to be March and April readings. They will be separate. I will do March 1st, and then I will do April 2nd. So the first month I'm going to do is March. The second month I do is going to be April. Okay, um, I will pull uh, advice cards for each of the months as well. If you are interested in the extended reading, you can go to my website, which the link is below. Purchase a subscription and get extended readings there. Those will be posted sometime between the 1st and the 3rd of March for both of the months. Thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. I certainly do appreciate it. For those of you out there that would like to subscribe to my channel, please make sure you click on the notification button and the little bell so that you will be immediately notified when I post my videos. All right, guys, thank you so much for um, all of your well wishes while I was um, sick and recovering. I am slowly but surely coming out of it. Um, I've been detoxing. I've been, um, you know, trying to get ahead of everything. And right now I'm on that final push and I am just going to get her done and go for it. All right, Librans. Okay, let's go ahead. And let's get started with your um, planetary aspects and alignments here. Libra, for you, the sun and the new moon is in Pisces. And for you, this is in your sixth house of health, work, daily duties, errands, your reputation in the world. There could be something very significant as it relates to a Piscean person in this particular time frame for you. Actually, it happened all the way back, probably right around between the 19th and about, you know, the 21st of um, February. There could be a Pisces in your life that is uh, getting significant attention or you could be getting significant attention from a Pisces relative to something at work. This could also have something to do with a Virgo person as well. So please be aware of that particular energy. Set your intentions for what you want in this area of your life, not for what you don't want. And then as we move into April, the sun and the new moon are going to be in Aries in your seventh house of um, business partnerships, romantic partnerships, uh, justice. Okay. In April, we do have um, this seventh house energy. And for you, this is in Aries. Or it could also be one of your own. So a Libran or an Aries person will be of significance to you regarding your business partnerships, your romantic partnerships, and justice. And the thing about this is, is set your new moon intentions for what you want, not for what you don't want, okay? Then we have the full moon in Virgo in March. And then, then we have a full moon in your sign at the end of March going into the 1st of April. 1st, 2nd of April is when it's um, in its effects Usually full moons are the most effectual approximately, I would say about 10 hours before the full moon and then approximately, you know, 72 hours after the full moon. So just take that for what it's worth. My opinion only. So um, for you in this case, Libras, you have uh, the full moon in your 12th house of um, romance, um, clandestine affairs, health, healing, hospitals, research, unconscious, subconscious, psychic abilities. Something could be culminating, climaxing, or coming to an end for you in these particular areas of your life. A Virgo person may be of significance or a Piscean person may be of significance. This is all about dotting your I's and crossing your T's. Um, this is all about um, your health as well. So for some of you Librans out there, you could discover a health ailment um, where you get it addressed right away and it's got a cure and you can take care of it and end it. So this could be something where maybe you, you've got a really bad infection or something like that. And then basically you go into the docs, the doctor's office and they're like, Oh yeah, you know, we will put you on this antibiotic or we'll put you on this, um, this treatment program for six or seven days and then it's gone. So this is, this is actually very lucky energy for you, uh, um, Libras out there. Then we do have the full moon um, going into Libra in your first house. Something is culminating, climaxing, or coming to an end as it relates to your identity. Venus, and this could be anything relating your identity. If you're if you're single, you're going to be exclusive. If you're 
you know, uh, married, you could be getting a divorce. I mean, anything relating to your identity, you could be changing your identity. You could be changing the color of your hair, whatever it is. You could be moving even for some of you. Venus is in your sixth and seventh house respectively in March. This goes from Pisces into Aries. This is love, harmony, abundance, kindness, compassion, joy, friendship, small financial gain as it relates to Piscean people in your life or Aries people in your life or Virgo people or other Libran people in these areas of, um, of giving a little bit of love and a little bit of kindness to your daily duties, your reputation in the world, um, your health, your romantic partnerships, your business partnerships, it's beautiful, beautiful energy. Then we have it going into Taurus and Venus is exalted in Taurus. Absolutely. And guess what? Venus is also your ruler, Librans. So this is really, really good for you because Venus is at home. So it's not going to be so uh, difficult for you. In this particular case, this is in your eighth house of joint finances and intimacy with Taurus um, or with Venus being in Taurus. This is all about, um, you know, uh, possessions and your value and what you value. And Venus is bringing her love, her compassion, her kindness to these areas of your life. There could also be something here where, you know, sometimes you can be jealous of someone or you could be jealous of a situation or something like that, but you're really loving about it. You're, you're not like the vicious, jealous person. It's more like you're the curious, jealous person, you know? So this is kind of what's coming up with Venus in this type of placement, or somebody could be that way around you. Mars is um, in Sagittarius and Capricorn in March, and this is going from your third house into your fourth house. This is all about short distance travel, siblings, communication, social media, contracts, negotiations, and then it moves into the fourth house of home and family. A Sagittarius or a Capricorn person could be of great significance to you or a Gemini or a Cancerian person could be. This person is going to be aggressive or passionate towards you in these particular areas of your life. So generally in this particular, um, with this particular planet, this is all about, um, uh, war. Okay. This is all about the masculine. So be aware that there is going to be some, um, some friction energy for whatever reason, for the good, for the bad in these particular areas of your life. So be aware of that particular energy. Then you do have Mars staying in Capricorn in April. And for you, this is in your fourth house, home and family. Um, there could be something that I'm just hearing for some of you with, um, with your fourth house being in Capricorn. I am definitely hearing like, um, there could be something like a pop or something like that Librans in a home. So this could be, for example, a, um, electrical fuse pops or blows out or something like that. Or there could be, you know, um, something that gets like a little bit out of control. Like, you know, when you're cooking, like, especially if you have a, um, like a stove that is a, a gas stove that has fire. Okay. So just kind of be aware you, when you're cooking, make sure that the handles are turned inwards and also make sure that you don't have anything that could catch fire like um like a pot holder or something like that so like you turn to answer your phone and then the next thing you know you know you threw your towel on the counter and then boom you've got just a small itty bitty fire i'm not sensing anything huge just be careful for electricity and fire around the home just kind of be aware of that or you might be observing that or hearing about that with somebody in your life mercury is in aries um, all throughout March and April, it is also going retrograde. So an Aries person or a Libran person may be of significance to you uh, relative to um, new beginnings in your life, justice, balance, um, business partnerships, romantic partnerships. There is a revisiting to something for some reason. So be aware of that. You're going to revisit it. You're going to look at it again. You're going to reevaluate it. You might be reevaluating friendships, romantic partnerships, business partnerships, just kind of, you know, so that you can start with a new beginning or so you can have a new beginning in your life. So just be aware of that energy. All right, Librans, what do we got going on for your tarot reading? 
for March. General energies for Librans, general energies for Librans. General energies for Librans. Here's your general energy, Librans. What do we have going on for your work life and financial life? Work life and financial life for the Librans, work life and financial life. There's your work life and financial life. What do we have going on for your uh, emotional life and love life? There is your emotional life and love life. What do we have going on for your health and well-being? Librans, health and well-being. Well, that one wants to pop out. Health and well-being for Librans, there we go. And what do we have going on as it relates to your advice, Librans, your advice? Here is your advice. And I am using the Oracle of the Visions deck. Okay, so what have we got going on for March? Well, Librans, for March, we do have the Page of Cups. Now, this could be a child in your life. People around you could be acting just a little bit childish. There is something about somebody you love or yourself going towards the east, moving towards the east. This could be a child. This could be a friend. They might just be a, a friend, might be going on vacation. This could be a family member. There's something surprising coming up about this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio in your life, or you might be sharing uh, some sort of communication with them that surprises them. That could be. For others of you out there, there is something regarding um, Eastern medicine. So this could be acupuncture as well. So just kind of be aware of that particular type of energy. But this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio person, for whatever reason, is playing a significant role in your life. Um, again, this is something where um, this is fun energy. This could even be um, some sort of energy as um, just loving, compassionate, you know, really fun texts, really flirty texts. But... <coughs> I'm getting some heavy, heavy energy for the Librans. So what I am sensing here is for some of you Librans out there, you might have somebody who um, is interested in you, but um, you're not interested in them. You think they're a little bit childish. Um, you're having fun with them, but it's not anything that you really want to move forward on. For others of you out there, you just might be spending a lot of time with your children as well. Um, I am not saying that everybody that you meet is going to be immature. Some of these people are going to be really good matches for you. But the type of energy I'm getting from this was kind of uh, just a little bit heavy. And so um, this could be something where somebody surprises you or maybe you're out with your friends and you're just having a good time. And then all of a sudden you feel like you kind of have this stalker energy around you and you turn around and it, maybe it's an ex or something like that. And then you you find out later that they tend to frequent places that you frequent. So just kind of be aware of that energy, Librans. I really don't know where that's coming from, but it is coming out. So what do we have going on as it relates for your work life and financial life? For your work life and financial life, Librans, you do have the Hermit card. The Hermit card is provider energy. This is medical doctor energy. This is guru energy, wise sage energy, doing research, taking a step back, looking further into a situation to make sure that you have every piece of information that you need before you move forward. So this could be a Virgo person in your life for whatever reason. For some of you out there, this Virgo person is affecting your finances. This Virgo person is affecting your work life. For whatever reason, this person may work nights. Okay, so that could be coming up here as well. Um, let's see what is going on here. Um, for some of you Librans out there, you could be in a relationship or maybe an on and off relationship with somebody who works nights, somebody um, who perhaps works in the medical field, uh, something like that. Um, there is a need to do research as it relates to your, your finances. So look at your bank accounts, make sure everything's tying up, make sure that you don't have charges on your account that shouldn't be there. Um, that is very important for some of you. Your books are being looked at. So what I just heard for some of you uh, Librans out there, your books are being audited. So be aware of a potential tax audit that could be coming up for some of you out there. For others of you, as it relates to, relates to work life and financial life, this could be where perhaps something happened in your life where you are now paying off a medical bill 
that could be for others of you out there if you did apply to a job they are looking at your cv right now they are looking at your resume right now but but as of this this point in march they're not ready to make a decision just yet but they're close so just kind of be aware of that energy as well in some cases in in a very small uh, percentage of you out there you are being investigated at work for whatever reason so what do we have going on as it relates to your emotional life and your love life for your emotional life and love life Librans, we do have the sun card so for the emotional life and love life you're free um, for some of you you did a little bit of research maybe on this pisces cancer scorpio or this virgo person and you decided you know what that might not be the best match for me so i am just going to say you know what thanks but no thanks i'm not ready for a relationship right now i'm just going to go out and have fun so this is you out having fun this could be somebody that you love perhaps that is traveling to the east or something like that on vacation um, they could be sending you pictures of the beach or sending you pictures of where they're at with the sun there. And that is really, really beautiful. Um, you're enjoying it. And maybe you're looking at these, maybe they send you pictures and they're in a different time zone. So when you get the pictures on your phone, it's like two o'clock at night and you're like looking at these pictures at two o'clock um, or early in the morning. So that could be what's going on for some of you Librans out there. For other Librans out there, you are pregnant. You got pregnant by someone, someone got you pregnant. Um, this could have been something where it's like, surprise, honey, I'm pregnant. So that could be going on for some of you out there. For others of you out there, I feel like you, um, you don't want to get pregnant and the person around you wants to get pregnant. So if that is the case, just protect yourself, Librans, just protect yourself because this is something that's coming up here where if you don't want to get pregnant, please use proper precautions because you are very likely to get pregnant in the month of March if you don't protect yourself. For others out there, this is where you've gone to the physician and you're getting checked. And sure enough, you got a baby in the oven, okay? Um, for others of you out there, um, this could be you just had a baby, but this is definitely coming up or perhaps children are affecting your love life for whatever reason because Maybe you're going on vacation with your children, or maybe you're going to be doing something with your children that's going to be affecting your, your love life with your partner. So that could be happening. For others of you out there, you are maybe you're divorced and you've got children. You're a divorced mom with children, and you meet somebody new, and they're really, really awesome, and um, you're introducing them to your children in the month of March. So that could be happening as well. Um, but for the majority of you Librans out there, you just feel really free. You feel really happy. Your emotions are high. You're feeling really, really good. Now, I'm going to say this just for a very small percentage of you. In fact, I won't even say it's for any of you that are watching this video. But you will hear about somebody getting investigated at work for child pornography. This is coming up. It is a surprise to a lot of people out there. It's somebody that people weren't even thinking would even be uh, involved in such a thing, but it is coming up here because your next card for um, your health and your well-being is the Page of Wands. Now we have another young childlike energy. So now we have a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarian person relative to your health. Now, I am sensing for some Librans out there, there could be something that happens in the month of March where you get some sort of inflammation. Anytime you have wands that are located in the health and well-being sector, there is a rash, there is an inflammation, there's rheumatoid arthritis, there is um, you know, an increase in potential headaches, there's allergic reactions, okay? There's hives, all right? This could be coming up for some of you Librans out there, so please be aware of that, okay? Please be aware of that. For some of you Librans, perhaps you've been under too much stress and you simply need to take a vacation, get the heck out of Dodge, because this stress appears to be manifesting itself. Um, you know, maybe you're breaking out in your face or or something like that, but it does appear that the stress is starting to show itself on the outside and not just the inside. So some of you Librans out there might be going to get checked 
um, on, and I just heard rosacea as well. So some of you Librans might have a rosacea um, that you're getting checked out or going to a dermatologist. So that could be what's going on for some of you Librans. And some of you will be put on perhaps medication. So what do we have going on as it relates to your advice? As it relates to your advice, you do have the comforting hands. And see how this woman is resting? So the advice here, Librans, is if you can take a day or two off of work, if you can, if you can handle that, do it. It will serve you well. It will bring you back. You know, it'll take you away from the fray and you can just relax and find your center again. For some reason, Librans, you need to rest. I don't know why this is, but there could be some planetary aspects for you that are hitting and they want you to rest. For some of you, maybe you feel like you can't have a good night's rest. Okay, some of you might be considering hypnotism as well. Others of you out there may know somebody that is finally going to be resting, okay? They're finally taking vacation. They're finally getting out of wherever they're at so that they can, you know, kind of spend time with their loved ones and have a break and have um, a vacation time as well. For some of you out there, and this is, again, going to be for a small percentage of you, it feels to me the way that we've got the hands on this sleeping woman it feels like baptism. So it feels like there's this baptism or there's this induction or there's this, um, you know, laying of the hands on somebody. So whatever that means to you and, you know, um, like holding hands over somebody either for healing or blessing or something like that, but it is coming up here for whatever reason. So be aware of that. All right, guys, let's go ahead and let's jump into April reading. So what's going on for the general energies for April? The general energies for April for Librans. Here is your general energy. What do we have going on for your work life and financial life? Work life and financial life for Librans, work life and financial life. Here is your work life and financial life. What do we have going on as it relates to your emotional life and love life for Librans? Emotional life and love life. Emotional life and love life. And what do we have going on as it relates to your health and your well-being? There is your health and your well-being. Okay. And your advice card is going to be from the Sandra Ann Taylor deck. I just pulled from the Crystal Ally deck. What's going on for Librans? Here we go, Librans. Okay, Librans. We have for your general energies, life force. When you have life force as your general energies, this goes back to what I was saying earlier. You know, your kids might be zapping you. Your work might be zapping you. It is time for you to find your center again. In April, it is recommended if you can get away to get away, do your meditation, go to the spa, get a massage, do whatever you need to do because I'm just sensing you've got some energies coming up in May that might be a little bit taxing for you for whatever reason. Um, and it might be taxes, you, you know, taxes might be driving you nuts. Mm -hmm. But in this particular case, your guidance is to maintain your life force, take care of your body, take care of people around you. This is definitely coming up here for some of you out there. You might decide to stop eating red meat. You might just decide to be, you know, vegetables, fruit, and fish or something like that. But there's definitely something here where you need to bring more. It's it's like the, um, I think it's like the yang energy. Like you need to bring more masculine energy into your body, that life force. So that is what is coming up here. So what do we have going on as it relates to your work life and your financial life? Well, for your work life and financial life, you do have transformation. So whether you like it or not, Librans, there is a significant amount of transformation happening at work for whatever reason. This transformation may have something to do with you going on a leave of absence because maybe you're not feeling well, you've got to be out of work for a period of time in order to recover, convalesce. So this is transforming your work. 
for others of you out there, you might be deciding to get into some research or whatever and start putting your CV and your resume out there. And now you're starting to get calls back that are coming in saying, yep, we're interested. Let's go ahead and set up an interview for others of you out there because of the good research that you've done regarding um, investments and stocks and bonds and trades and everything else, you are positively transforming your finances. So this is certainly coming up for some of you out there. You might get a lead at work that brings in a very significant client. That client might be, um, you know, someone who is in the medical field or something like that, but be aware of that. Again, I will say this again, just because of what I see going on here, even in April, watch out for um, some really shady business going on, on at the workplace. For some of you, um, like I said, it's either gonna be like barely even a small percentage of you because I, I would anticipate the majority of you, this isn't you, but you're gonna hear about it, okay? But if it is you, then take care. Somebody is getting caught or ousted at work because they are getting caught with potentially a much, much younger person, okay? Potentially even in the um, under 21 type of, of um, age bracket, okay? Or for some of you Librans, you'll hear about somebody who was uh, doing their business at work okay, that it was active at work, they get caught. And then not only do they get caught, the woman is also pregnant. So talk about adding insult onto injury on top of getting ousted at work. So this could be happening to somebody around you. And please comment below if you know that this is happening. For others of you out there, like I said, this is more of a really nasty energy, like a pedophilia type of, of energy that you might be hearing about that you wouldn't have expected, but it does appear to be happening here. So just kind of be aware, March and April, there is definitely going to be some sort of justice that comes out relative to this particular type of energy. So what do we have going on for your um, emotional life and love life? For your emotional life and love life, you do have dreams in April. And this is basically saying, uh, Librans, that you know what? You have dreams, you have visions, you have you, you might be dreaming about the love of your life. There might be somebody that you dated in the past that you consistently dream about. It wakes you up in the middle of the night. And it's not a bad dream. It's really a beautiful, beautiful dream. For some of you out there, your dream is to be free. Perhaps you're in a relationship that's that's abusive, that is naive, that is childish, and you're just ready to go. And you're dreaming about the day that you're going to be free. So for some of you out there, for a small percentage of you out there that are getting a divorce right now, it does appear that your energy is setting you up to free you from a very oppressive relationship. So this is coming in for some of you out there. The other one is for some of you out there, you have decided, you know what? I've dated some people here or, you know, I like where I live, but then you're going to your significant other, you're going to your children, you know, or, you know, maybe you don't have any children or you don't have a significant other and you are deciding, I am going to fulfill my dream of living in Hawaii and I am gonna move to Hawaii and I'm gonna have fun and I'm gonna be a child again. And this then will bring in more energy for you to meet somebody else in your life. So this could be what's going on. Wherever you're at, Librans, for some of you, you are deciding to leave everything behind in order to start a completely new chapter in your life with love and happiness and harmony and joy and exuberance of a child because you're so excited about it. So this is what is coming up. So what do we have going on for your health and your well-being? For your health and well-being, uh, Librans, you did have love. So there is something going on regarding love or your idea of love around you that is causing this transformation. So for some of you Librans out there, your idea of love did not match um, you know, somebody else's idea of love. And now you're looking at this from a different perspective. 
for others of you out there, maybe somebody else's idea of love is not nearly close to what your idea of love is. Remember, yes, love is love. Everybody gets that. But we all have our own individual upbringing. We all have our own filters. You know, some women think that love is once you get married, you pay for everything. Um, you buy me diamonds, you buy me trips, you buy me vacations. Other women who think who um, are brought up a certain way think that love is more of an equitable exchange. They think that, you know what, I'm going to go to work. I'm going to contribute. We are going to plan a trip together. We are going to be sensible about, about our money. That could be what's going on for some of you out there because I just sense that there is something going on here relative to a little bit of stress coming in regarding love. Uh, for others of you, you might be getting a lot of love from your children and because you're getting love from your children, you're able to heal from some sort of trauma in your past. That is coming up here as well. For others of you out there, this is saying love yourself really love yourself in the month of April. You need to give yourself that self love in order to heal yourself from whatever it is you need to heal from. And this will allow you to find your comfort and your calm. And this is very important for some of you out there. Um, this could be somebody sending you messages of love as well. Um, and for some reason, this could be where somebody might not be doing well. Maybe they're sick. Maybe they've got mental illness or something like that. And either you Libra are talking to them or they're talking to you and letting you know how much they love you, how much they're there to support you. So that could be what's going on. Um, that could be what's going on there. Um, your child might be in the hospital as well. But like I said, just, just bear the warnings, listen to the warnings that I told you about. And again, I'm not going to blame anybody and I'm probably, I'm, I'm going to be doing um, a few more videos there. I'm going to release these videos for uh, Jupiter going retrograde because Jupiter going retrograde this time around is going to be pretty significant. So I figured I might as well put up another video. And also um, we've got uh, Venus getting really close to Chiron in Pisces and the sun as well. So um, we got to be really, really on point regarding what is about to come into our lives and be prepared for that because that's certainly coming up here. And, and like I said, for some of you Librans, if, if you got pregnant, you didn't want to get pregnant. Well, guess what? You are now bound for life um, as it relates to this child. And it looks like this child is going to be fun. I mean, you've got this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, this Leo, this Aries or this Sag that seems to be coming in. So, you know, or, you know, this Virgo. So definitely some, um, some fun energies coming in here, party and energies going out and meeting people. I mean, just make sure that you're taking some time out to, you know, regain your center and your life force. So what is your advice? Your advice is contract. So I just heard prenuptial agreement for some of you Librans out there that, um, you want a prenup and you might want to get a prenup as it relates to some sort of contract that you're going into. For others of you out there, there is a contract you're signing at work that is going to transform it. The goal here, especially in April, because we do have Mercury going retrograde, check, 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 and recheck all of the data within that contract, no matter where it is in your chart or wherever that contract is being signed. It could be a marriage contract. It could be a divorce contract. It could be a contract at work. It could be a contract for an idea. It could just be a contract at a gym, whatever it is. Check, 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 and recheck it. There is something going on here where you need to do a little bit more research because there's something hidden in that contract that needs to be illuminated for you to be able to address. So this is definitely something coming up here. All right, Librans, thank you so much. And please join me and consider getting a subscription on my website in order to access the extended readings for this month and these couple months. Okay, thank you so much. Much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste.